Bills Mafia, fins up. Buffalo 2-0, Miami 2-0. Week 2's Battle of the Unbeatens kicks off in a matter of seconds. On the flip side of that, winless Las Vegas, winless Tennessee. One of these two playoff teams from last season will start this season 0-3. Philly chose him number 2 overall in 2016. They chose Hurts over him in 2020. Carson Wentz gets his first crack to get back at the Birds. And he's probably the greatest September quarterback in NFL history. The month of Mahomes reaches its final Sunday today. And with that, we say hi, everyone, and welcome to NFL Red Zone presented by Amazon. Scott Hansen with you wondering what will happen next. Last week, we had the absurd three crazy comebacks, three of the most improbable comebacks in the last decade of pro football. Today, we start the day with six Two and O teams. That's it. Six unblemished. Five of those six play on red zone this afternoon. And you want parity? How's this? The entire NFC North is one and one. The entire NFC West is one and one. The entire AFC South has one total win. And that came from Jacksonville. Jacksonville plays in the late window today. The early window kicks off in a matter of moments with nine games inside. Alvin Kamara will play for the Saints. New Orleans is in Carolina. Houston at Chicago, the Lovey Smith Invitational. Indianapolis is, is winless. Kansas City is one of those 2 and O teams. Buffalo at Miami, two top five scoring offenses. Detroit is scoring 36 points a game. The Lions are in Minnesota to take on the Vikings today. Welcome back to football, J.K. Dobbins. Dobbins and the Ravens go to New England. Patriots home opener in 2022. Cincinnati at the Jets, the AFC. AFC, cha AFC champion are 0 and 2. Las Vegas at Tennessee. Someone's got to get their first win today, right? And Philadelphia at Washington. First NFC East versus NFC East game of 2022. We are ready for the first of the nine kicks. Kaimi Fairbairn with it teed up for the Houston Texans. They are at Soldier Field. Looks like a nice day in Chicago. And the Bears will get the football first. On the 25-yard line, the battle of second-year quarterbacks there, Justin Fields and Davis Mills. It's a couple of long-tooth quarterbacks, or at least one in Matt Ryan's case in Indianapolis. The Colts' home opener, and it's a tough task as the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs come a call in and that kickoff will come out over the 25 yard line we've got kickoff between the winless Raiders and the winless Tennessee Titans with the home team getting the football first there in Nashville well Josh Allen said that he spent his first two NFL Sundays this season watching NFL Red Zone thank you Josh we're fans of your work as well undefeated Buffalo undefeated Miami first snap a block by Knox and downfield a catch made by Diggs. He was working on Howard. The ball free. They say he was down 47 of Miami. A 28-yard completion on the game's first play. Well, the Dolphins like to blitz more than any team in the NFL. They blitz on the first play of the game going man-to-man. -man. There's Xavier Howard. That matchup with Diggs. Diggs gets the best of it with an accurate throw from Josh Allen. Singletary a block with a whistle on that first and ten. Looks like Mike McDaniel's challenging. He has a red flag out. Possibly a coach's challenge on the first snap from scrimmage in the Bills-Dolphins game. While we're doing that, hey, you love it. We love it. Josh Allen loves it. It's the Octobox, ladies and gentlemen. Eight of the nine games having already kicked off across the National Football League. We have division games in Carolina, in Miami, in Minneapolis, and in Washington. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Seven hours of commercial-free football start now. Back to South Florida, where the game has come to a halt after the first play. And Mike McDaniel's going to have a discussion on this Stephon Diggs chunk play into Dolphins territory. Let's listen. Receiver was down by contact, and there was no fumble. Miami is challenging that ruling. So what McDaniel is... All right, that's Alex Kemp, the referee, giving us the call there. That game is going to shut down for a minute or two. We'll skip over to Nashville right now and show you a little Derrick Henry bobble on the screenplay, but he gets it, and he's got a head of steam. And which one of you secondary players wants to try and bring down King Henry? 
No one does until he gets a 23-yard gain. That was the second play of the game. Tennessee off to a fine start. All right, let's uh, check in. How about that NFC North matchup here? Jared Goff, a top 10 quarterback in the first two weeks of the season in terms of passer rating. How about winging that one in to DJ Chark, the former Jacksonville Jaguar, now Detroit Lion, with a 17-yard play, and the Lions are in business early in the first minutes. Let's go uh, to live action here with Tennessee and the Raiders, and we'll give you an update on that Bills Dolphins challenge in a moment. And Rock Yassine, the right corner, came up to make the play. Yeah, and Crosby was in there again. Crosby. The ball goes. We're going to go immediately now to Lucas Oil Stadium. It's an instant red zone possession for the Colts. A muffed punt by Kansas City. You got an 0-2 team facing a 2-0 team. Colts are probably going to have to get a couple of breaks today to keep this thing close. There's an immediate one in the first couple plays of the game, and it was the rookie. That's Sky Moore trying to return the uh, kick there, the punt, and he muffed it. Immediate recovery for the Colts. First and goal for Matt Ryan and company. Just trying to guess where the ball was going to come. That is like a full yard off. I was looking outside. I was like, you know, well, there's nothing. This like, the sun's not blinding out there. Out there. You know. So, all right, the Colts who have done nothing offensively in the first half, the first two games, they've got four yards from pay dirt. You just saw the best Colts play of the year so far. Exactly. Everyone, that's the biggest play. Boy, they needed it too. Here's the give to Taylor. And he's surrounded again by four or five Chiefs. Third down and nine. Battle of second-year quarterbacks, Davis Mills, Justin Fields. Fields has hardly thrown the ball this year. They've not asked him to. They tried to ask him to on this play, but you know he's got scoots as well. Third and nine, mobile quarterbacks will kill you in those situations, especially when you got glued coverage downfield. How about a 29-yard scramble for Justin Fields on third and nine? Move the sticks for the Bears. Because Quentin Nelson, the all-pro left guard, is on the left. Second and goal. Ball from the three yard line it's Taylor again up ahead driving still moving the pile and they're gonna keep him about a foot shy of the end zone well this is why you just need to get the ball the Troy Lions got that big DJ Chark reception they got into field goal range stalled on fourth down they go for the field goal oh it hits the right upright Stoink it and back out onto the playing field. Austin Seibert, no good, remains scoreless in that NFC North matchup. 100%. You're exactly right. And you're going to run right over that left side and go over 56. Quentin Nelson, him and Zach Martin, maybe the two best guards in the game. Nope, they're going to go up top instead. Back in the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. Jelani Woods, the rookie out of Virginia. There's your first touchdown of Sunday afternoon in week three, and it's the Indianapolis Colts jumping out ahead after the Kansas City Chiefs miscue on special teams. Double box in the Buffalo offense. The Mike McDaniel coaches challenge on the first play from scrimmage was denied. So he loses that challenge. It was a catch for Stephon Diggs, and this drive is now into field goal range for the number one team in everyone's power rankings. Things were blocking up the middle. It goes again, penetrating the middle, and that's the fullback. Gilliam. We immediately need to go to a triple box, ladies and gentlemen. Buffalo is on the march. You've got the Bengals in the red zone. In fact, goal to go. And you've got the Titans at the bottom of the screen in the red zone. Off the fake to Henry. Tannehill finds Henry, but it did not fool the former Titan, Jayon Brown. And there is a flag. Brad Rogers, our referee this afternoon. Holding offense. The Terry back there. First down and ten. Time in the throw to the ten. And Gillian tried to hurdle, and Roberts was there to catch him in mid. -fall. First and goal for Cincinnati. Motion man chase. Burrow shovel. Tyler Boyd goes in. Touchdown. Penalty marker down. 
There's a penalty marker on this play, and it's going to come back. This is against the Bengals. Wipe the touchdown off the board. Up from the practice squad, top of your screen. Split out wide to the left. 180. Down here over the middle. It's caught. And defensively today. Greg Singletary in the backfield. Allen goes in the black outside. And they try to go in there, but it was stuffed well. A loss of a yard. So Volson, who was a right tackle in college, he's been starting at left guard in his rookie year for Cincinnati. Line of scrimmage is now the 14th. Burr, swing it to the outside. Mixon trying to create after the catch. Three Jets there to make sure he didn't get on this inside slot receiver position. Gain of 16 for Woods. Tenth play of the drive. Henry lined up to the left of Tannehill. First and 10 from the Raiders. 11. Tannehill looking over the top. It is Henry. And he's taken down. There was a significant penalty at the end of this play. Right there, they called unnecessary roughness a personal foul against Miami. So an automatic first down and half the distance to the goal. First and goal for the Bills. Boy, that's a mistake early on. Xavier Howard getting into it. He covered Diggs over 80% of the time. So that matchup continuing here today. James Cook, rookie from Georgia, is in. Singletary on the move. And with the new center, Van Roten, jumping on it was Allen. Empty backfield for the Titans. Second down at four. Tannehill looking to run. And he's hit and tackled from behind. Bengals only had 254 yards of offense last week. They allowed 337 to Dallas. 20 to 17 loss. A Brett Maher 50-yard field goal to win it for the Cowboys. Second and goal. Burrow will take a shot. Back in the end zone. Higgins the toe tap. This is going to confer on this one. Out of bounds. They're going to call DJ that out of bounds. Reed. That looked very Back close. There. In Defensively, fact, we're going to see, I think we're going to see a coach's challenge here on this one. I you think Zach Taylor wants to roll the dice early. Ball. Look at T. Higgins. High point in the football. Ball. And ooh. Did the heel hit? Both toes were down in the end zone. Did the heel hit? We'll watch a couple more replays and keep you going on the other two red zone possessions. Up in Cincinnati's booth right now. Is there going to be a flag? There will. Watch the toes. Boom, boom. I think that's worth the challenge here in the early going because of this great drive by Cincinnati. They want to accomplish what they set out to accomplish, which is put the ball in the end zone on the first drive of the game. This is a good one to challenge.